Life of a UCF executive found dead in his Winter Park home could leave the Orange County Jail. She was brought there today for a case unrelated to her husband's suspicious death. News 6's Troy Campbell is standing by with the latest from the jail tonight. Troy? Well, Matt, I spoke with workers here at the jail, and they say Redlick, she's posted her bond, but no, she will not be walking out of these doors here behind me. And they say that's because she's expected to be taken into custody in Seminole County because that's where her original charges are from. 45-year-old Danielle Redlick booked in the Orange County Jail this morning on a probation violation. After court records show, she tested positive for alcohol shortly after the death of her husband, 65-year-old Michael Redlick. This body camera footage from a year ago shows Redlick with a mask covering her face, leaving the hospital. After a Seminole County deputy said Redlick attempted to bite and kick him and other first responders, arresting her for resisting with violence. Court records show deputies were called to a Wawa in Oviedo when Redlick got into a fight with her two friends after a night of drinking. The arresting officer writing Redlick said, quote, I am Winter Park. Winter Park police say Redlick's husband, Michael, was found dead inside their home on January 12th. Investigators not saying how Redlick died, only describing his death as suspicious. The 65-year-old worked as a director for the business management program at UCF. Detectives back at the house on Friday collecting evidence, but again, staying mum on what they were looking for. It's still unclear when Redlick will be taken to Seminole County. We're told once she's there, she'll also be given a GPS um, ankle monitor. As of now, there still have been no arrests related to the death of Redlick's husband, Michael Redlick. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results news six.